was in grade school and went on to my college years, I remember I hated studying. The teacher would tell us to read only the first 50 chapters of the textbook by tomorrow, and I'd sit there thinking, no matter how many times I read the textbook, I'd remember nothing. Someone even offered me some crazy tips on how to remember things like practice yoga, eat organic pretzels, drink eight bottles of water each day, and make cornbread from scratch. And I would try all their tips and I'd still get an F. So of course I'd do what any good citizen would have done, go looking for their ass. Hey you, come here, and your grandma's cornbread sucks. It wasn't until years later I discovered what an incredible memory I, and you, have. The problem wasn't that I had a bad memory, I'd just never been taught how to use what I had. If you practice these tips, you should start memorizing things quicker in every situation. Number one, calm down. Number two, no, seriously, calm down. Moving on. Tip number one, read with a purpose. I know this sounds like your great grandfather passing you some old dust covered advice, but hear me out. When reading something that you need to memorize, don't just read to read it, but read it to understand. In college, I noticed my grades skyrocket when I stopped reading the entire chapter that teachers would assign. Instead, what I did was read all the chapter summaries, pictures, and try to understand the meaning behind the bold and italic words in the text. Then when I ran across information I didn't know, I'd do further research on it by watching several fun videos about the topic on YouTube. And while reading, I'd ask myself what I just read and see if I was able to explain it in my own words. By doing this, I was gaining more understanding about what I was reading, which then stuck in my head, short-term memory, and was memorized, long-term memory. Tip number two, memorize with a picture in mind. I'll give you a list of 15 words and let's see how many you're able to remember as they pop up on the screen individually. Elephant, airplane, school bus, teacher, kitten, violin, cake, rocking chair, glue, Oprah Winfrey, boots, scissors, handkerchief, Mercedes-Benz, giant cookie. Now go ahead and pause the video and write down all the words you can remember. How'd you do? Okay, put that paper aside. Okay, now I'll give you the same list of words, but this time I'll also give a short story and a picture. The teacher was playing the violin in a rocking chair while wearing her new boots that she picked up because someone left them on the airplane. Charlie began to rip apart his handkerchief with a scissor because the students decided on a kitten as the classroom pet instead of an elephant. Oprah Winfrey decides to make a surprise visit to the class because it was the teacher's birthday. Earlier, her Mercedes-Benz broke down, so she had to catch a ride on the school bus, all while carrying the cake and a giant cookie, her favorite snack. Okay, pause the video again and write down how many words you're able to recall using your visual memory. The trick is to recreate the picture in your mind of each image in the story. Did you see the difference? Because you had a picture associated with each word, it helped you to memorize more words this time. Tip number three, take a break. After learning a little bit of new information, your brain needs time to process what you just learned to make connections. Use this time to grab a snack or watch the first 10 minutes of that show you pre-recorded. Let your mind relax. Go for a short time without thinking about what you just learned and come back to it and repeat. Well, hope you enjoyed this video and will use the information you learned to remember things more effectively. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.